all British people like crumpets. Well, that's just one of our stereotypes anyway. Us Brits are stereotyped for many things by the American and Aussies. Before we get to the fun bit, we all know the boring bit comes first. Let's just get that out of the way then. Stereotypes are made up when a culture is generalised. These can sometimes be humorous or can go the opposite way and become derogatory and defensive. Some examples include being very sarcastic and having bad teeth. Constantly complaining about the weather, loving things like tea, crumpets and fish and chips. Always apologising and apparently we all look like some pillock called Benedict Cumberbatch. So we asked some questions to four strangers to see what they thought about our stereotypes. How many times do you drink tea each day? You know what, not that much. I don't really drink tea. Yeah, I don't I, actually, well, I, now and again, when I have a bit of a cold, you know, it's crappy flavoured water. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, it's just offended. It just tasted like water. Just hot water, it's gross. Uh, it has a taste, but I have to have it with it's a lot like of sugar. It's like when because... you put water in a bottle that had coke in it before, you just <laughs> taste the to- <laughs> coke slightly. It's gross. Nasty. How would you feel if I told you that you had bad teeth because you're British? Um, I mean, true, but... I mean, true, because I've got braces, but... <laughs> Probably not, because... I'm... <laughs> but to be fair, not, I, I know a lot of people who are British and have really, really nice teeth. Mm. Uh, I, I think it's like a... You're making me self-conscious now. Yeah. <laughs> it's a personal attack. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I'd feel... like Actually, I feel offended. Because I'm not here. <laughs> like, okay, well. Do you think you have a posh accent? You know what? People tell me, because well, I go to college in Stratford, people say I sound really, really grummy. And I don't think I do. But then people, but wait, that was not the question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think I have a posh accent. Because you sound grummy. Yeah. <laughs> but then, but then I get really offended when people say I sound really grummy because oh. grummy is like. It makes you seem unintelligent. From the green. From the green. From the the Acox green. green. If you were in a shop to pay for a cup of tea and you saw your friend near the front of the queue, would you wait or would you join them? Oh no, I'd wait at the back of the queue. It's rude. Yeah, no. That's so rude. Go away. Go away. If the chance to give a sarcastic answer to a question is there, do you go for it? No. <laughs> You just played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you just played yourself, fool. Oh, uh, yeah. But then, because I'm like really not witty, it just backfires. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes we me all try to turn on Dan Howell, but it doesn't work. No. It never works. No. I can't even say anything really funny. <sighs> I hate my life. What do you think about stereotyping? Um. I think it can be funny sometimes because we can all take a joke and people obviously take it a bit too far when they're just flats. Yeah. Do you stereotype? Yeah, well if you see someone in a hoodie and they look dodgy, you're going to walk the other side because do you don't want to get murdered. I try not to. No, I don't. If I'm... <laughs> well, in, in, if, but like, if you saw if you saw somebody with a hoodie and they, they're holding flowers and they were giving it to their nan, We gave our questionnaire to 20 people in order to find out what people really think about our stereotype. They revealed that we're mostly offended by our bad tea stereotype. In fact, 52% of us felt this quality was unfair and untrue. Just thought I'd put this out there, but according to the English Adult Dental Health Survey and US National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, American Oral Health is apparently no better than ours. And in some cases, worse, with them having significantly higher missing teeth average. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't put that in. We might offend our American audience. What American audience? I'm sure they'll be fine. Anyway, we found that nobody in our survey believed the appearance of their teeth were poor or bad. Most people said they were good. But that's because we're a modest bunch. We're British after all. And judging by this chart, we're not sarcastic at all. Well, maybe... Only sort of just 90% of us. Well, I reckon that's a good place to end this short documentary, don't you? Yes, we hope you've learned at least something today. And if you haven't, well, Meg. we're just disappointed Meg. in you, to be fair, because we've Meg. got a lot of effort into Meg, this. Meg, stop! Song. Good night, guys. Well, the pair of you just shut up! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha